Dick Cavett, a master of intelligent conversation, and Johnny Carson, the undisputed king of late-night TV, both hailed from Nebraska, sharing not just a home state, but also profound respect and connection that went beyond the glare of the studio lights. In this video, we'll explore the complex relationship between these two late-night TV icons. Facts First presents Dick Cavett reveals his true feelings about Johnny Carson. Early Years in the Magic Connection The interwoven tales of Dick Cavett and Johnny Carson, two of the most celebrated figures in late-night television, find their roots in the unassuming state of Nebraska. Born into the heartland of America, their early lives unfolded in remarkable parallel, laying the groundwork for their eventual iconic encounters in television. Dick Cavett, born in 1936 in Gibbon, Nebraska, was raised in an environment where education was not just encouraged but revered. His parents, both educators, instilled in him a deep-rooted love for learning and an almost whimsical curiosity about the world around him. This academic atmosphere was complemented by Cavett's burgeoning interest in the performing arts. From a young age, he was drawn to the stage, particularly enamored of the art of magic. This passion for illusion and performance, which began as a youthful hobby, later served as a foundational skill in his broadcasting career. Johnny Carson, born a decade earlier in 1925 in Corning, Iowa, but raised in Norfolk, Nebraska, also developed an early fascination with magic. Like Cavett, Carson found magic to be a captivating world that offered an escape and a means of expression. His family's move to Nebraska when he was eight was a pivotal moment, setting him on a path that would eventually intersect with Cavett's. Carson's love for magic grew as he honed his skills performing at local venues and participating in magic shows and competitions. It was in these circles of magic enthusiasts and amateur competitions in Nebraska that their paths first crossed. Though they were years apart in age, their shared passion for magic brought them together. Their mutual interest was more than just a shared hobby, it was a training ground for skills that later defined their success on television. Both Carson and Cabot, through their early experiences with magic, developed an acute understanding of how to captivate and hold an audience's attention. Rise to Fame – Building a Late-Night Empire Cavett's journey to fame is a tale of unbridled determination and capricious serendipity. At Yale, he majored in drama and English, showcasing his interest in the performing arts and literature. Cavett's path to television began fortuitously. He wrote and sent jokes to Jack Parr, then the host of The Tonight Show. This bold move paid off when Parr hired him, marking the beginning of Cavett's foray into the world of talk shows. On the other side of things, Johnny Carson's ascent to stardom was characterized by a steady climb through the showbiz hierarchy. After his stint in the U.S. Navy, Carson embarked on a career in radio, which eventually led to television. His charm, wit, and impeccable timing made him a natural fit for television, eventually leading him to take over The Tonight Show in 1962. This role defined his career and etched his name into the annals of television history. The Dick Cavett Show vs. The Tonight Show The Dick Cavett Show and The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson epitomized two different yet undeniably delightful styles of late-night TV. Cavett's show, which started in 1968, was known for its intellectual depth and sophisticated conversations. His interviews with celebrities, authors, politicians, and other public figures were known for their thoughtfulness and insight. Cavett had a unique ability to delve deep into the minds of his guests, revealing aspects of their personalities that were rarely seen in public. Carson's Tonight Show, on the other hand, was a masterclass in mainstream entertainment. The show blended comedy, celebrity interviews, and musical performances, all wrapped in Carson's charismatic persona. He had an unparalleled knack for making his guests feel safe and at ease, resulting in interviews that were both entertaining and revealing. Mutual respect amid rivalry The professional and personal bond shared by Dick and Johnny was characterized by a deep mutual respect that surpassed the limits of their rivalry. Despite airing their shows in the same time slot, this respect was visible in their interactions and the way they talked about one another. Cavett reflected on Carson's personality and the challenges he faced. He noted that Carson, 
Despite being the most famous person in America and a suave, debonair personality on TV, was quite nervous and socially uncomfortable in real life. Cavett expressed sympathy for Carson's social struggles, acknowledging how hard of a time he had in social settings. This understanding and empathy are a testament to the depth of their relationship, extending beyond mere professional camaraderie. Further emphasizing their mutual respect, Cavett recalled his early encounters with Carson in Nebraska, describing how they watched Carson glide off into the night in his 38 Chevrolet and felt like they were watching royalty. This early admiration laid the groundwork for their future relationship in the world of late-night television. Memorable Moments On The Dick Cavett Show, the host's intellectual approach to conversation brought out nuanced discussions with legendary figures. Jimi Hendrix's appearance was a profound moment where he delved into his music philosophy, giving viewers an intimate look at this creative process. Equally groundbreaking was the interview with Christine Jorgensen, a pioneer in transgender history, which marked one of the first open discussions on gender identity in television. The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson, blended humor and celebrity culture seamlessly. Memorable segments included his recurring animal encounters with Joan Embry, bringing a mix of humor and wonder to the audience. His ability to engage with a wide range of guests, from top celebrities to political figures, made the show a staple in American homes. Cavett on Carson, Marx, and Trump A recent article published by The Daily Beast has shed a lot of light on the intricate relationship between Cavett and Carson, revealing facts of their connection that go beyond the well-known narrative of their late-night television rivalry. Cavett's account of his first encounter with Carson in a Nebraska church basement where Carson was performing magic is a poignant reminder of their shared roots and early admiration for one another. Cavett's anecdotes shared throughout that aforementioned Daily Beast interview, such as Carson's lighthearted invitation for him to return to The Tonight Show during their competitive years, highlight the underlying respect and camaraderie that existed between them. This respectful rivalry was further underscored by Carson's acknowledgement of Cavett as a genuine competitor in the late-night landscape, a rare admission in the fiercely competitive world of television. Beyond his reflections on Carson, Cavett also shared insights into his interactions with other notable figures, such as Groucho Marx and Donald Trump. His experiences with Marx were marked by a deep friendship and mutual respect, revealing a side of Cavett's career that was as much about building lasting relationships as it was about hosting a successful talk show. Regarding former President Donald Trump, Cavett provided unique perspectives based on their interactions, offering a glimpse into his views on contemporary political figures. Needless to say, Cavett didn't exactly have the most flattering things to share about the currently embattled ex-president. Even so, Cavett's ability to connect with such diverse personalities speaks to his versatility and adaptability as an interviewer. His observations and perspectives illuminate the intricacies of human connections and the skill of communication. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Dick Cavett? Let us know in the comments section below.